So we got our bows to level 90 and something. And oh god. <laughs> there you go. There's the there's the event. All the jazz. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. Wish granted. Let's test 90. Oh, 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 I can hear a troll. I can hear a troll. I can hear a troll. And how come I didn't see him? Oh wow. Traitor, no belt, no. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. We're not doing that, we're not doing that. Greetings fellow Vikings, welcome to the episode number 4 of our Valheim Permanent Death Hardcore Challenge. Now obviously I've finished the base, if you recall from the last episode, if you've seen the episode number 3 where I showed you how, how much time I've spent to build the base, this is, it has been a 14 hours project, maybe even more considering that I had to do all the chests. This, our cooking, this will be our cooking area right here. I have a chest there for the vegetables, for the meat. This will be our uh, bedroom area where we get our uh, rested buff and everything. This will be our crafting area right here. Easy crafting area. And then over here I've got some extra storage. And all the chests are laid down here with all the biomes. I usually like to uh, name them accordingly with the biomes. And let me take you outside a bit for a spin right here. We have our honeys. I need to collect the honey. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> Come on. I can't need to collect the honey. And nothing has changed basically from the third episode in. If you've seen the base in the third episode, then uh, you know what's what. Obviously, I'm going to need to do some work here around this area particularly. We're going to be our... Uh, our trophy area, our showcase, our trophies and everything. If we're going to get to the trophies. <laughs> Well, let's see how that goes. And let me take you outside. Show you actually the... Yeah, I forgot to mention in the last episode, I also got the um, <laughs> the stakes here. Because uh, during some of the raids, the monsters would go into the water and actually attack these things. The, um, the doors. So this is a little trick here where you have... The doors place a small hop to gap right here that you can walk over, but the monsters, it's a trick I learned from a fellow YouTuber, but the monsters won't be able to get into your base, so they won't damage the gate. They might shoot arrows at it when it comes when it comes to that. I've actually showed the port building uh, in the last episode. A thing I haven't showed in the last episodes is where I got all my wood, so let me take you here. As you can see, this is the place where I got all my wood. So I've I've been doing quite some <laughs> quite some wood chopping here, and given that this is uh, we are playing this with double resources, imagine an area twice as large as this one with all the wood uh, chopped down for the amount of wood that went into this build. Honestly, I don't know how much wood went into this build, tons and tons of it. I really don't want to count all the wood pieces, but feel free to do so if you want. Okay, that's that. I've also got a lot of core wood and I'm going to show it to you when I get to the Black Forest. But the most important for me was the grind that I did for the bows. It was the most boring thing I've ever done in Valheim. But fortunately, with that... Um, there, oh man, there are so many things that need to be done. We, have, we need to get the smelters and everything going. We need to explore uh, some extra... Dungeons? Hold on, let me see. I don't think I have... Okay, meadows, meadows. We got these. The Black Forest. Eeppers. We have no circling cores. Because I do remember in the dungeon where I farmed the bow skills. So we got our bows to level 90. And something. And Oh god. <laughs> there you go. There's the, there's the event. But fortunately, we can sleep during an event. <laughs> with this base, right? The forest will be moving in the morning. We're gonna see how it is actually the first bait first rate on camera. We can see how the base is going. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this is going. Oh, they're just dying to the wooden stakes. I think they might have destroyed one piece of wooden stakes. But there. Yeah, they did destroy one. Because I can hear it. They're all over that place. <laughs> They're so desperate. 
Yeah, so let's just go outside and greet them. As you can see, they're, they're throwing rocks. So yeah, they're a problem. The archers will be a problem, but they still won't be able to get into our base. Oh, the shaman is here. How'd you get up, dude? <laughs> How did you get on the bridge? Okay, so I guess the land bridge is not working as well as I thought it would be. <laughs> Especially on this side, but I've tested it before, so uh, this is curious. I'll have to fix that. Apparently they can get on the bridge here. I'm curious if they can get on the other one. Just gonna wait for the event to be over and then we can work on uh, getting into the dark forest and grabbing all our nice resources. But as you can see, uh, this is pretty much raid proof. They can't get to us. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Come on. The only thing I'm worried about. Come on, get you. There we go. Nice, nice, clean. Nice and clean. Thing is that the small, the small ones, the great dwarves, can't get here. Ow! But the large ones apparently can. Come on! Come on! Woo! That was weird. Okay, so I have to fix that somehow. The large ones. I need to to make this gap. Let's do that before getting into the dark forest, actually. Make this gap a bit larger. So apparently they can get in here. And all that core wood and wooden stakes that I've been doing didn't help me at all. Because apparently... Come on, the workbench is right here. What am I missing? So they keep attacking it. Look, oh my goodness. They went full berserker mood on this build. Okay, can I repair the... Yeah. Yes, I can. Okay, so apparently they can get in. Somehow they can get in here. So I might need to change that. Let's change that. We can do something like this. So if that gap is not enough, maybe try something like this to make it a bit larger. We'll see how this fares. I'm not 100% sure that this will work. Come on. Can they get over this gap too? Because I kind of am falling through it with it. I'm kind of falling through the, bay, through the gap. So as long as I'm running. But they might be because they have those large, really large... Oh, come on. They have those really large legs. Let's get in here. Let's get the resources. Okay. Let's take everything back to the base. And then we can go for some uh, exploration in the dark forest. I haven't explored the Dark Forest, it's just a small, tiny amount of the Dark Forest has been explored. Let's get the arrows while we're waiting. Okay, I'm gonna have the wood in here. We're kind of stacked on the wood. I think. Yeah. Let's move this wood and everything with it. To come. Let's move it in here so we can have extra wood in here. Why not? It kind of looks like a good idea. Okay, so we have some food stuff that I need to put away. Let's see. Let's be really well organized because if you are organized, you're going to have less. You're going to suffer less in this game, right? Obviously. So ingredients. I'm also out of... I haven't actually gathered that many dandelions. But yeah, we got the seeds. Let's wait for the rest of the buff in here while we're waiting. Okay, we got it. We got it, we got it. So the Black Forest, I kind of have a lot of those. So let's just get back to the Dark Forest and do a bit of exploration. Now with this much bow skill, I'm not worried about anything in the Dark Forest. The only stupid way that I might die now is to get hit by a two-star archer, Draugr archer, actually. That can actually obliterate me. Yeah. I'm not that sneaky, I don't have the troll cape, so we might need to do some troll hunting. I do have a lot of resin though, not worried about that. 
but I haven't been cutting the small trees. So I'm, I'm not 100% full on resin. I haven't been cutting the small trees because for the base, I kind of need the large trees to fall on each other. And like, all that jazz. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. Wish granted. Let's test 90 bows versus the troll. So all our hard work, let's see if it pays off. We're almost getting to 91 just after shooting that raid. So let's go. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, how many arrows do you take? I should have shot him at him while he was staggered. I didn't th think he would take that many arrows at this much skill. But we're only shooting the fine with bow. So there goes the troll, so I'm not worried about the trolls anymore. If I can get the sneak attack on them, that is. If not, well then I am worried about the trolls. I can hear a skeleton archer or skeleton. Okay, so no matter what, this was not the smartest idea. Let's get rid of... Something's happening here. There's a lot of commotion here. Look, look, look. And now he pissed... Oh, come on. Okay, no matter what, I'm gonna have to take out this entire species of necks and boar from here, apparently. I love these small puddles when they have necks around. They kind of look cozy. I'm gonna grab the neck tails. Oh, we're gonna need to build a fermenter also. Oh, yeah, give me your tails. I kind of need everything. Everything, everything, everything. Let's get it done. Okay, so we have the troll. Don't get wet, friend. Don't get wet. The last troll we fought with less bows, it was super difficult. But yeah, you can obviously get the bow skill. It took me around four hours. It, You could do it in a lesser time. It just, I got some skeleton archers and I also got a two-star skeleton archer and I had to do the old trick when you hide behind a wall, wait for him to shoot and then shoot him yourself. And I had to do that quite a lot to actually manage to uh, get those skeleton archers. So yeah, find a dungeon with a spawner, have some nice relaxing music in the background, and start actually blasting your arrows, as shown in the third video. So this is the area where I got the core wood. It's not much. I didn't need a lot of core wood, so uh, there's just some trees that are down here. We're gonna get some resources from the dark forest because we're kind of don't have anything so we can do a bit of exploration here get more thistle so yeah i kind of i kind of need to need to grab the d -d 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 dungeons i need to grab the dungeons because the dungeons that, that i've been farming and that one that's where i got my bow skill now it has no spawner, no nothing, and uh, I usually take out the spawners, but obviously for the build, for the, uh, forgetting, <laughs> oh my god, what am I talking about? For getting the bow skill to level 100, I needed the spawner, right? Because you can only do that with the spawner, because the skeletons are resistant to peers, and you're going to deal peers damage to them. So I haven't... I, don't, I didn't have the patience to take it all the way to up to 100. It takes a lot of time. It takes around two extra, or maybe not two extra hours, but it would have taken me another an hour and maybe an hour and a half to get that done. Depending on what kind of monsters you get in the spawner, if you get two star, um, two star skeletons, normal skeletons, then you're gonna be fine, because those die a lot less uh, quicker than the normal ones. So we'll just go around this edge, because I kind of need to remember this forest. Now, I haven't been playing this for almost a week now, from the last videos, That's so I not I don't record daily, so I mostly record a lot of episodes in a day and then uh, chill the rest of the days. <laughs> because I can't always do the... I can't always record every day. Okay, so let's tag along this coast, because this is where we found the boat, if I recall correctly. How are we doing on mushrooms? I'm gonna grab these mushrooms, because there are never enough mushrooms, right? 
we can go through here we can walk through here i might get here's the problem with me having uh, this much bow skill right now i might get cocky and when you might get cocky in the dark forest in the hardcore series uh, or hardcore mode should i say bad things are bound to happen so <laughs> so don't get cocky folks because it's still hardcore let's remember that there are some monsters nearby and we're gonna grab a lot of thistle and the blueberries because we kind of need them for um, the better food then we're gonna look for some dungeons in the same episode and maybe if we're lucky find a heading towards the elder but the thing is I haven't found that many dungeons there's one right there so that's that we're now just for some thistle in here and for some basic ingredients okay two more thistle and we're done where are you going I should use the fire arrows on these guys but I kind of know now the normal arrows are dealing quite a lot of damage so we do have some copper here I think we have some copper on the left side so let's see there's a dungeon right here oh oh oh! I can hear a troll I can hear a troll I can hear a troll and how come I didn't see him where is he I heard him growling oh look he spawned right behind us okay unfortunately it's not a one shot with the uh, with the arrows because I'm not uh, okay so there's the troll <laughs> how do I do this come on let's see will I aggro these skeletons there are some skeletons here because I kind of need to shoot him in his head I need to get his head oh he's moving he's moving he's right there he's right there and he's big and blue Oh, look at the arrows. They're flying all over the place. Just not hitting the troll. <laughs> oh my god. This is busted. Oh no. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh my god. The arrows went five meters apart at this distance. And this can tell you how accurate the bow is. Because this bow is really not that accurate. So we're not going to carry two of these. I'm going to carry the rocks. Wow, this bow is wild. It's so inaccurate. I thought the finewood bow was a bit more accurate than a crude one, but it's just just at the same level, I guess. Why are there no skeletons? Oh, I defeated them, right. So we have the fire going here. Nice. We can get a nice rest of bonus in here. Oh, we can have a workbench repair on bow. Some little camp here. Why do I have stone again? Or this stone, maybe this is the stone from the previous. So let's just wait for the rested buff in here. We're gonna do a bit more exploration that way. Since we found the boat there, we might get lucky and find another one, who knows. Not that I need it right now, but I'm gonna take it if I find it, obviously. We don't have that much time of the day. So, uh, let's get the feathers. But yeah, I've cleared this. I remember clearing this when I got the nice deer. There are two one stars. Oh, there's some tempting, but I'm not going to do farming right now. I'm not going to worry about the... So here's the thing. I'll be playing off camera in my normal map where I play Valheim. With the... Uh, I'm fiddling with an assassin build. Even though the next series will be about a melee build. I'm going to try and beat this game in melee only. On hardcore permadeath. So uh, that would be interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Being in every, every single enemy up close will definitely be interesting. If I don't manage to isolate, imagine this. If I don't manage to isolate all the enemies, I will die. Because you can't, you can't deal damage when you're swarmed. Might use the head gear. We'll see, we're gonna do something weird about the, maybe some, trans some variants of the head gear and the spear build. That's the only way I can see that um, happening. There's some gray dwarfs here. Oh, this is unexplored area because I can see some meadows. So this is all the black furs that we're gonna get. Oh no! 
look at them, look at them. We got the shaman, got you. And everybody's happy. So yeah, no longer, these guys are no longer a threat, so I'm not worried about them. Oh yeah, something they do spawn in these rocks. So as you can see, there's one in this rock. And I can only take him out. Can I take him out with a peek? Oh yeah, he's getting out. <laughs> so if you smash the rock, he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be out. Out in the open. Out of the closet. I kind of need more blueberries, but I don't want to go that much into the black forest. So let's just yeah, screw it. Let's be cocky <laughs> and see if we can die. <laughs> I don't like the fact that the bow slows you with 5% when equipping it. That's a bit unfair because it doesn't weigh, doesn't weigh that much in real life. It's made out of wood for, for Christ's sake. It's not, it's not like it's made out of iron and it's really heavy. So I wish they remove the fact that the, the bow slows you down because as an archer in this game, you kind of need the speed. That's the only thing that makes you effective. So yeah, I was talking about the melee run, right? So we're gonna do the melee run after this one. And what I also wanna do is an assassin build on hardcore. That's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna take the bosses with the bow, obviously. Cause <laughs> there's no point for me in dying fighting the bosses. Oh, there's a nice build there. Let's see if it has the stone. The rune stone, the Vagisavir, or how is it called? A whole lot of mushrooms here, too. Hey, 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 hey. How dare you sneak on me? You think you can sneak on me? Actually, you can. Kind of showed that to me. Thank you, Bo, for this amazing accuracy. We're flying through the arrows. I have to be careful because I'm kind of flying through the arrows with this bit, with this much bow skill. So I'm not sure that getting all this bow skill was a good idea. It's gonna help us on the most occasions. I'm looking for trolls. Oh, there's a troll. <gasps> Ooh, lululu. Hey, lululu. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can. Uh... No, I don't need the ten. Not right now, at least. Ooh, let's try and find the troll in there. I'm 100% there's a troll in there. 100% sure. No room in inventory for the stone. Right. Let's get this. Let's get this. Actually, you know what? I might want to have a campfire in here. And let's turn this into a little cozy. Just a second here. Just a second. We're going to do this in less than a minute. Turn this into a small little um, area where we can thrive in the dark forest. Let's get rid of the heavy stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna tear everything down except for the... Let's get the beams going. There's another beam right there. I can't get to it right now. There it is. So we can have some rested buff. I want to take... There's a troll cave here. I'm not 100% sure if I visited that. Like I said, I've been playing on my different, on the other world that I've, I've, I'm playing off the camera, trying the assassin build and everything. But you're gonna see the assassin build is the funniest of them all. I mean, monsters are just obliterated, especially if you're gonna get your hands on the Abyssal Razor. That thing is busted. I feel like they need to patch that thing. Because it kind of feels busted to me. It's, it's really overpowered. Oh, there, there are these. These are in the way. Okay. So let's have our workbench here. Can I squeeze it all the way to the left so I can have the campfire? Now imagine having the fire hazards on. <laughs> that, that would be that would be sad to have everything catch fire. Right, we need to work on the roof too. So let's quickly get the get a roof going. Uh, can I do this like this? Oh yeah, we can. Nice. Let's sleep on it and first thing, there are enemies nearby. 
what enemies are nearby. Ooh. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, no. I keep remember that these guys are resistant to Pierce, so... Uh, they kind of show that to me time and time again. Hey, look, friend, we're resistant to Pierce. No room in inventory. Cool. Let's have some chests in here for the storage, too. I kind of need to... Ooh, like that. Hidden chest. Hidden chests. Can, can I place the other one there? That doesn't doesn't seem to work for some reason. That's fine. We're gonna have the, these items in here. Then we're gonna have the arrows. Yeah, we can do that. Let's sleep on it. And first thing in the morning. Whoa, oh, 20 minutes have passed already from this episode. First thing in the morning, we're gonna go for that troll base and actually let's take the resources back to the base and come back into the forest. Okay, so another new day, new start. I kind of need more arrows. <laughs> I just realized that. Thing is, I don't have the wood for them. So let's grab some wood. Let's get up some arrows. Cause uh, yeah, I'm not doing this with, with this with this many arrows. We're not doing this. Hold on. I thought I heard something. It's just my imagination. Okay, let's get the wood going. Wow, that troll growl. You can actually listen to them. And you can hear the trolls in the background. Sometimes they they growl or they do these, these weird sounds where they uh, give away their position. But you need to have your headphones volume quite up to hear, to hear them. You can actually hear them even from far away. I think we have enough wood, so let's just go and grab the troll. My inventory is kind of full, so I have to drop some items here. Let's grab some more arrows. <coughs> okay, enough arrows have passed. I tried to clear my voice there. Oh, no, no. Um, you, you two fight. Oh, no, that was so bad. I got stuck by that bush. Why is every... <laughs> yeah, you kill him and I kill you. How come you guys are sneaking up on me? I'm so pissed. Is there a dungeon nearby? I think there might be a dungeon nearby. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's fix some things here. I want to throw some things off my inventory because they're kind of useless. I kind of don't need that. Oh, I kind of need the rest of the items. I'm gonna keep the resin too. No room in inventory. Great. Just want to get rid of the these silly items. So throw them out of your workbench area, or, or else they're gonna be there forever. I'm losing my voice, I keep need I need to clear my voice every five minutes. I don't know what's happening, but it's fine. So there's another dungeon here. Great, good, 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 goodies. So we have two dungeons that we haven't explored. We have a nice camp going right here. We took care of that. I know where the copper is. So there was a troll cave. Where is my troll cave? Ooh, there's the troll cave. So let's have a campfire. No, I kind of need that stone that I throw away. God. <laughs> and one extra one. I need an extra stone here. Oh, where's my stone? Oh, there's some stone. Oh, oh wait. So this is cleared, right? Just, I have to double check, but I think that this thing is also cleared. Right, so this thing might be cleared. Let's just check, quick check. Or this is just the spot where I got the... Oh no, it's cleared. It's no longer there. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No troll. We might find we, we did find two other trolls, so we're we're good on the on the armor there. So let's get back home. 
let's get through the forest here so we might oh so wait is that another dungeon or is it my other oh, i'm confused <laughs> you know with no map and everything it's a bit gets a bit confusing sometimes that's why you should mark your uh, explored locations oh no this is a new one so we have three wow we can do three of them and i will do three of them We're gonna have our bow to level 91 in no time. I thought that was a one star. That was such a bad dodge roll on, on my behalf there. That was a really bad dodge roll because the archer could have got me right there. Right then and there. Ooh. Okay. I want to spend the fire arrows on them unless it's absolutely necessary. Mandatory. So we're full on resin. We do have some extra one there. Don't need that. So let's get back to the base really fast because I'm kind of losing my bearings here. I don't know where I'm exactly. I know the ocean is on my left. Uh oh, wait. Uh oh. More resources. <laughs> so there's your new. This is a new one. Or I may I might have been here. I don't know. Like I said, it gets confusing sometimes. <laughs> Let's get back to the ocean because I kind of feel that I shouldn't be here. I don't know where I am right now. Has this been explored? Yes. The chest is empty. Then where I am? Where am I? Um. Dungeons everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna need to get back. Let's get the resources back home. And we're gonna need to hunt the circling courses. Oh, so there's the lake. So if this is the lake, I kind of know where I am. The good thing is that we found a lot of blueberries. The bad thing is I haven't found that many shrooms. Gonna need more mushrooms. Okay, so this is the ocean. That's the... Oh, I know where I am. Okay. Okay, we're not that far away. We're cool. We're cool here. Let's get back home really fast. I'm gonna keep the eye clear power for any suspicious raid that might happen at all times. So we can run and hide from him. From it, actually, because he's not a person. <laughs> With all the confusion regarding the genders and everything. Because I've been saying this... Uh... Oh, so I haven't caught this log. This was just a um, side victim, <laughs> right? Okay, I'm not. I'm not back. What am I doing? This is not the way home. Oh, it is the way home. It's just the trees that I cut. Come on. You're going down, Mister. You're going down. Oh, so I kind of uh, yes. Let's grab the raid dwarf eyes because I kind of need those more than resin. We're gonna need them for portals and everything. So yeah, I was just kind of, it was kind of, it's kind of silly thing going on if you ask me with the genders and everything and pronouns and how things are called. Because in the old times, people were actually fighting over, over their lives, trying to survive and to, I don't know. Let's grab these items here. Get on with their lives and stay alive, you know, there have been wars and everything and conquests all over the world but nowadays people are just confusing uh, pronouns <laughs> and uh, worrying about uh, which uh, which gender is which so it's kind of silly if you ask me to worry about all those things because yeah everyone is free to do everything they want to do so we have a lot of freedom nowadays that's not questioned and just enjoy the freedom and stop arguing that much about silly things but yeah, we're not talking about that. I'm not. This is not a podcast. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a Valheim series. So let's get back into the base. This is the wood that I have left. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> All those chests are filled with wood. And there, there would have been a lot more wood if I didn't stop at that little forest, little patch of forest right there. Okay. So what? What are we lacking actually? Let's upgrade this. 
we are lacking this item. Let's get the troll hide. This is totally not worth it. It requires a lot of... Oh, I don't have the... Really? I don't have the bones for this? Are you kidding me? I have a lot of bones. <laughs> I've been killing archers for four hours. <laughs> Let's get the upgrade on the... Yeah. Although this is not really worth it. But every single bit of defense helps. Against the normal monsters, that is. Okay, so... We should be fine with the arrows. Regarding the arrows, we should be fine there. We can have the monsters in there. Let's, let me sort the things in here just for a second, for a brief second. I'm gonna have the tools there since we're gonna go exploring. Right, I've moved my valuables right here. So there goes the gold. And let's see, how have I organized them? They're here and they're, the rest of them are here. Let's get the food inside the chests. Okay, so I don't like this configuration. I kind of need to spread it out like this or something of the sort. I might need to go... Oh, we need to go grab the honey. Right, 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 right. So more mushrooms because I kind of kind of low on those. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's a problem. Let, let's, let's place them in here for now. <laughs> that's kind of a problem. I have too many blueberries. So yeah, we have some excess blueberries every... Over here, some excess meat. But no, no, we're gonna keep that. And everything, yeah, so let's sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep on it and go first thing tomorrow morning for everything else. Let's see, the meadows go in here. Oh my god, I'm also having extra leather scraps. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on, hold on. Let's rearrange this, let's make it like this. Okay, now no, I feel better. <laughs> but I have too much wood, I should stop gathering wood. Because I've been farming like a crazy person last time. So, uh, yeah, let's get the honey and we can sleep. Let's get the honey, let's cook and we can sleep on it before another raid happens. Did I grab everything? Yeah. We got luck with the honey. Now, here's the thing. No matter how much exploring you're gonna do, Sometimes the game, this game is gonna troll you and what's actually gonna happen, like it happened to me in another seed, is when you think you're nice, cozy, safe and sound, and uh, let's get some extra eight. Can I go eight or can I go 10? We can go 10. Let's go 10. Okay, two, then we need eight. So yeah, so here's the thing. Like, it happened to me too many times. We did find early on, especially in thinking of the first episode, the the honey, the queen bees, right? So now we have four. But on my other world, when I'm playing the assassin build, the thing is, I only found two. And I would have only found one, if not for the double resources. And I only found one in a very, very large area. Like, I've searched a giant land, a giant map. And there was just two bees. Every structure that I have found had no bees. So getting the bees is kind of a lucky thing. It's kind of raining now. We need to add some fire to the wood. Let's add some fire to the wood, exactly. Let's add some fire to the... Oh my god. What am I talking about? Wood to the fire. Okay, let's keep the fire going. How are the torches? Ooh, not good. But I'm not gonna worry about them. Until they get really low. I might replace these with the copper ones, because the copper ones last longer. And I kind of need them to last longer. That's what she said, right? Okay, 16, 16. We need around 32 of these. We can have the extra honey in the chest. Right then and there. Nice. Let's sleep on it. And first thing in the morning, let's go for some burial grounds. I think they're called <laughs> burial chambers. Okay, good morning. Let's see. Raid, not raid. I hope no raid. We have a ton of food right now. 33 days. Yeah, I think the second episode where I left you... When I left you off in the second episode... Ooh, nice snipe! 
Hold on. 85? That's not that's not that good. I'm kind of missing 15 arrows. Let's get grab those and then get back to the forest. What am I doing? So yeah, like uh, in the second episode, we were in day number 7 or 8. We're now on the day 33 because all that base building took me a lot of time. Arrows. Do I have arrows? I do have arrows left from my experiment. So why, why am I crafting arrows then? I don't know. Left from all that grind, I did craft a ton of them. So yeah, but I had the wood for the from the farming, from the base farming, and that large chunk of forest that I cut down. So we did have the wood from that area. What I do need are some stones. Now I should have some stones. Let's let me grab the stones from here. Actually, if I can find some. Stones, stones. Oh, come on. Really? And also, I've scared the bird. I scared of the bird. Because I kind of need the campfire in those dungeons. Oh my god, that would, that would be dangerous. Going back to those dungeons, that's dangerous. So, let's see. Wood for the fire. Fire for the wood. I'm just going to move the wood outside when I, once I'm done with them. So I'm gonna keep ten wood at me. Let's keep ten wood, ten stone at me, right? I thought I heard a troll. Because I'm not worried about these guys, I'm only worried about a troll. Give me those great ore eyes. Yes, give me those, I kinda need them. Now why did I bring the copper and the pick with me? The copper, oh my god. <laughs> the axe and the pickaxe with me. That's that's something I don't know. You, my friend, have spawned too many times. I really don't know how to insult them. Because they are all over the place and we're going to meet them every 10 seconds, apparently. Every 10 seconds, there's a great war from the Black Forest. So let's see, where is that dungeon that I haven't explored? It was one right here where I fought the... In the second episode. Oh no, in the first episode. We fought the... I have too many blueberries. The two star Great Dwarf and the one star at the same time. So there's one dungeon right there. Is that it? It's kind of far away from home. I thought that I was closer to base. Wow. And there's your welcoming committee. Come on. But it's good, if we're gonna grab all, all this wood, we can craft some extra arrows. If things get bad. Yeah. Alright, I fought the troll in the cave in the second episode. Now I remember, because it was the troll cave, it's right there. So it was close to this uh, burial chamber. Yeah. So I kind of have too much wood on me and too much stone. Let's grab, get rid of those. I'm only gonna need a few in the dungeon in here let's get in let's get in this will be interesting you know, let me turn down the SSAO so you can see what's happening oh wow really So if those two were um, skeleton archers, I would have died. I hate this type of dungeon where you just walk in and you might actually die first minute in. Hold on, I need to focus here. Ooh, let's clear the open space areas because I'm scared of these more than anything else. Are there more? They keep striking that door. Okay, so let's get the magic mushrooms going. There's a ghost right here. I'm gonna show you a really stupid thing you can do. Oh no. <laughs> it can actually get me in there.
But it worked in the past. I could have stayed just here and smacked the ghost. But it is what it is. So let's get those nice certain cores. Look at that. Now let's see. Where is this bad boy? So towards there. Now I'm gonna wait. Let's do the stairs trick. So that way. Let's check it again. Bad boy direction. That way. Definitely that way. We're gonna mark it down. Keep it in our minds. And in our heart. So we have some circling cores. Not that many in here. But fortunately we have a lot of these dungeons. Plenty to go around. Okay. So far so empty. I've been there. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Messing things around. Come on. Keep it to the right hand wall. There. Goodness. You can get lost, so the base principle is to keep to a certain wall. So either left side or right side. So this is a really silly dungeon. Because not that it has as you can see, you can you can't get in here properly. Like Sometimes they get glitched like this, and in, uh, in this rock. So this is where I stood and farmed the the archers from the spawner. I had a spawner in one of the rooms. Now hold on, let's get let's get sneaky here just for a tiny second, because I don't know what fate has in store for us. Some amber. It has some amber in store for us. Is detection affected by the light? Or is it just by the direct line of sight? That's something I don't know. And I should have known. Let's save. Only three minutes. Okay, come on. That's not that bad. Okay, nothing's happening right here. Why am I so worried? Really? So why did my sneak increase then if uh, there are no enemies? That's confusing, so your sneak skill increases, there might be some enemies in here. Otherwise your sneak skill apparently increases for no reason. Oh, there he is. Alright, right, 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 let's, let's eat on him. Oopsies, oopsies, no, no. Don't spot me. Yes, spot me. <laughs> it's fine. I don't believe there's a spawner in here or anything else that's interesting. No. Wow, this was a really sad dungeon, but we did manage to find eight Sertling cores. So eight of those, yeah, give me that, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take all the stone for the fire and move on to the next one, I guess. That was kind of a waste of time. Let's turn back the SSAO, otherwise it will look really weird. Okay, so now I need to find my other base, because there were two dungeons around that base. Oh, come on, come on, buddy, give it a rest, give it a rest, take a break, take a hint, take my arrow right in front of your face. Where's my other base? <laughs> no, that's the question. That's not my other base, so my other base should be way there, because we did pass, yeah, we passed a lot of structures. So. We have some walking to do. All the way to the base. So skip, 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 skip. Is that my base? No, that's not my base. Was it near the ocean though? I don't remember. Is that a dungeon? No, that's a house. <laughs> What? Okay, so what's happening here? Wait, what? What's happening? Okay, so the base should be around there somewhere. Because we are at the edge of the black forest. So this is the thing, I should have roads. I should have roads, but that takes too much time. Honestly, not gonna be bothered with roads. Oh, there's the base. Is that our base? 
I'm honestly really no that's not our base <laughs> oh that base has already been taken oh god so much death just because you didn't want to give me your base surrender your base friends and you could have avoided this could have been friends. I could have adopted your lifestyle of being a great dwarf. Why did I shoot that with a fire arrow? That's beyond me. <laughs> okay. No, I don't need that. No, need, don't need the coal right now. I kind of need around 10 of this. Not more than 10. I need to find my other base because I kind of am lost right now. I know where I should go. I don't know where is my where's where's the other base. Come on, there were towers. There were these type of towers. What the heck? I I might have went too far. This is the other base. Oh, there is the other base. Nice. This is not the other base, is it? Oh, it is. It is. It is. It has no roof, so it's the other base. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of confusing in here. So let's get some extra arrows going. Nice, 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 nice. Wait for the rest of the buff, I guess. Then we can go for those dungeons. Those small little dungeons. Let's get the rest of it. Thank you. Appreciate that. So like I said in the Black Forest Tips video, let it fire, let a fire going out in the open so you know which dungeon you've searched and which dungeon is cleared. Let's get this one right up here because I might lo I might actually forget about it. Dungeons are easy to spot in the distance. There's a certain blue haze around them. So you can always uh, spot them like that. Let's get the settings going for the dungeon so you can actually see something in here. Let's get sneak mode in here because I'm kind of scared that bad things are gonna happen so there's another weird the moment I'm gonna slap down this fire they're gonna start swarming yeah okay so this is just that one let's quickly like I said I'm gonna be super cautious Check to see if there aren't any enemies. No, I can't. Oh my god, those are really long hallways and I can't see anything. There's a door here. There might be some enemies here. Okay, no, there's a door. at doors. So, uh, my apologies if this takes a while, but I don't want to be surprised by a two-star skeleton archer or anything like that. Okay, so there are two doors here. Let's not alert the entire thingy. Let's be quiet in here. Okay, let's see. Something else in here. I can't see anything else. Just a circling course, <laughs> which is nice. Okay, so there's a door here. Okay, we're good. So here's the thing. The only thing I'm worried about in these dungeons are the actual... Um, oh my god, let's have the, those in here are these long hallways. They might actually have a lot of enemies on them, especially one or two stars. So it happened to me, I actually died in one of my normal gameplays. I went into the dungeon and there was a two star elf skeleton archer right here, just, just waiting for me to enter and then he started shooting at me, I got panicky, I dodged his first shot, then there was another normal archer that shot me. I didn't know which is which. Oh, there are a lot of doors. Wow, this is... Bam, bam, we're too... We're too I've taken that one out. Oh, rest of remains. Can I get his head? No. No, I can't. Okay, so we are full up on the mushrooms. I'm not gonna gather any other ones. Wow. Right when I was complaining about the... Oh, but I've been in the other dungeon and I didn't mark it on my elder. Well, that was stupid. 
Let's do that again. Oops, I moved my mouse button. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So again, in that direction. Let's get the stairs. That direction, right? Keep looking at it. Let's see again. Definitely that direction. Good. So remind me... I wish this was a live stream. <laughs> remind me when we get out of here to actually mark down the, the Elder. Because I haven't done that. We're getting a ton of Surling cores. I'm gonna have my... I'm gonna have to get back to the base before we finish finishing the last dungeon. Cause yeah, no traitor, no belt, no... Oh no, that's not gonna happen. We're not doing that, we're not doing that. Let's see, let's get my head straight here, so that's my... Uh... Hold on, hold on, I'm really... No, 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 we're not doing this. Behave. I actually dodge rolled, almost dodge rolled into the fire, I'm taking in smoke, come on. Come on, let's do this. The old classic way. How's our bow skill? Almost 91. We're getting 100 in no time. Not that it matters. 90, 80 or 100 is the same thing. So you won't deal extra damage, nor you will, nor will you draw the bow any faster. It actually, the perfect bow skill to stay at is 70. Because at this point, sometimes when you load the arrows this fast, they won't load, actually. And you won't shoot one of the arrows. So if you go zap, zap, zap with the arrows, one of them will not load. It's a weird glitch that's been happening, but it's there. Okay, anything here? Anything, anything? Oh, we've come out the other way we entered. Cool. Cool, friend. Let me get my stone. Let me get my... Other wood piece. Let's mark this down as being checked. Ooh. The game looks weird without the SSAO. <laughs> Go. Now, if you're wondering why the settings like these ones, with the graphics and everything on low, because it helps me see better. Obviously, the same thing will happen in the swamp. I'm gonna turn all the graphics down because you kind of need to see your, what you're uh, what you're doing in the swamp. So let's see, no matter what, I'm gonna head, need to head back home. We're kind of full, I don't think I can take another uh, dungeon. No, I can't. But there's the other one, right here in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, as you can see, these guys are no longer a problem. Not that they ever were a problem, but... I've never died to a Grey Dwarf. I did die to skeletons and stuff like that, but not to a Grey Dwarf. That would be silly. Now, thing is, I'm not 100% sure I'm heading back home. <laughs> oh, this might be the area. Oh, we're good, we're good. I'm good. I know where I am. Where I fought the troll, the first troll. In this tower. Fun memories. I like this like. I like this like. <laughs> what am I talking about? I love this lake, this small puddle. Oh, look. Oh, there's a burial chambers right here. I keep forgetting about this one. Come on. So we do have a ton of resources that we need to get back home. Now the thing is... Nah, we're fine. So I'm gonna need to uh, grab the the last the last dungeon that's in there. Or we have two extra dungeons, so I'm gonna grab those in the next episode because I can't squeeze all of them in this episode. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna film that. I'm gonna film every single bit of that because that's where the action is happening, and that's where we might die. <laughs> like I said, having a two-star uh, skeleton archer right at the spawn location. So make sure you always enter those dungeons with a. Um, uh, being sneaky, right? So using your control button by default and being sneaky about it. Okay. Oh, we made it safe back home. Every noise that you might hear in the background, that's my cat. 
walking around and doing her thingies and crazy things around the house, so sorry for that. Every weird noise. I can't exactly lock her in a room or that she will start meowing. Okay. Uh, I don't need to take any more <laughs> bones. We're full on those. We're full on those, so... Um... Okay. I don't know where to... Oh, wait. So, no, 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 no. Let's have the certain course in here, right? Okay. Or no, let's have them in a different spot. Let's have them there. Okay, we can have the skeleton remains. Oh, I have too many. I keep forgetting I got a lot of those. So I don't need that many. We can have this there, the stone one there. Oh boy. We're getting a lot of items. Let's get the fire, let's get the arrows back. I should use more fire arrows, I guess. But since we have that many have that much bow skill. I think we're fine. Let's have the gold in here and everything. Every single other item in there. Let's have the meat and the mushrooms. How am I doing on the mushrooms? Glowing mushrooms? Not that many. So it's fine. It's fine for us to get them here. Let's get the wood back into now. And then this this one. Uh, no, I don't stack. What? Come on. Really quick, really quick, drop these, drop these, and I have to get rid of those. So yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to end this episode here because um, I'm kinda running out of time for this one. But yeah, expect more of this. We're gonna go for two extra dungeons in the next episode and start smelting, I guess, and move on with the, with the base building. Once I get the food going, I need to get the carrot seed. I don't think I have any carrot seeds. Do I have any carrot seeds? No, no carrot seeds. Wow, we need to find carrots. Wow. Okay, so once we get the food going, we can start worrying about the elder. So maybe two episodes from now, we're gonna face the elder. Fingers crossed for that. <laughs> okay, so that's that's all for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your support and for all your comments, for being here and watching my videos. Much love from me and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.